Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over five things that are different now where I live than where I lived growing up. Number one, the water. The water here is disgusting. I have no idea why this city's water is so bad, but it is. It has a horrible taste, it smells, um, I don't like showering in it. We tried getting a filter once and it did not work. So I have totally become one of those snobs that has to buy like the jugged water. So if you see me in the grocery store, it's probably because I need water. And thankfully water is not expensive, but then again, I still wonder why I'm paying for it. But I guess I am paying for better water, but still first world problem, right? I anyway. Moving on, no. Okay, number two, the dog rules. Um, I found out recently that if I let Daisy like into the backyard or into the front yard without me going out as well, and she gets like picked up or like a cop sees her, I can be fined with a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor, yeah. Um, which I think is ridiculous because where I grew up and when we go home, like Daisy can just be let out. She can go, she can play, um, she can just do her business and she's fine. Like she just comes right back up to the front door and we let her in. So I understand that like I live in a populated community where back home, like I knew my neighbors and like I, there were, I didn't nearly have as many neighbors there as I do here. But I still just feel like that that's, that's like kind of harsh. And then we have to like pay for it. We have to go pick her up. We have like, if they take her. So I was just really shocked at that. And yeah, I was really shocked. Um, number three, the high schools. I have passed three high schools in just the little suburb that I live in. And those are public. I, I haven't even looked up to see if there's like private or like charter, um, so that means, like, there are a lot of high schoolers here, <laughs> and where I grew up, like, there was one high school to each other, um, well, I went to a private school, but, like, our main town's, like, public high school, like, everybody still knew each other, and I knew people who went there, and, like, I went to a private school out in the country, so my graduating class was, like, 25, I think, um, so just, like, definitely a lot different here. Number four, people can't drive in the snow. People can't really drive here in the rain either. I don't know if it's because like there is so much more like traffic or if it's because people have to take highways here or if driver's ed like wasn't as good here. I don't know, but people cannot drive. I would say 90% of the cars down here have at least some sort of damage, um, which means they were probably in a car accident, which there are car accidents all the time. So I'm sure that this city has like a high insurance rate. It would have to. Okay, so last but not least is number five. Locking my car slash house. I cannot go like into a store without locking my car. I can't leave my car unlocked here. Even if it's like I went to the store and I have to go out and get a second load of groceries. Like if I'm by myself, I lock my car in between those trips, which sounds ridiculous and it kind of is, but it's just like, I don't know my neighborhood very well. Um, I just moved in in October. So it's like, I'm nobody's out in the winter so like I haven't got to meet all of my neighbors. I live in like a higher populated community. Um, I even lock my door like me and my husband lock our door when he's home. Um, it's just completely different and like back home like we didn't always lock our cars and like we never locked our house. I mean we did sometimes like at night but like I could go to church and I wouldn't lock my door. I mean part of that was we did live in a smaller neighborhood but I just think like it was different. It was completely different. And I mean, these are all things that I'm adapting to and I'm getting used to, but I thought I would just share them with you. If you have any comments or tips or I don't know, like things that you think will make me feel better about locking my door and buying bottled water, um, go ahead and leave a comment below and like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I will be back soon.